Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I wanted to count down 12 different edible plants that you guys can find in your yard. These are in no particular order, and every yard's different, however, you should be able to find most of them in your yard without much difficulty. With that being said, let's get right into it. First up on the list we have cleavers, a plant that's rarely even noticed until it's walked right through due to the curved bristles running along its stem, which scratch the skin raw in what looks to be like cuts from small knives. Next up we have lamb's quarters, an extremely noxious weed that's also very delicious and very healthy due to its nutritional content. However, the plant is also waterproof because of these waxy light crystals which cover the entire plant. Number 11 is chickweed, a beautiful plant that grows in a rosette and loves the edge of houses and gardens. Its extremely small white flower is rarely noticed and when it is, many think it has 10 petals due to the deep split in the petals. Number 10 is the ever so common violet. These are well known for growing in very moist areas and can have flowers of all colors ranging from purple to yellow and even white. The small heart shaped leaves are usually growing so low that they avoid lawnmower blades entirely. Coming in at number 9, we have the dandelion, a plant that some love and many hate because they can't seem to get rid of it. One of the most, if not well-known, wild edible plants, the leaves are extremely healthy, boasting an impressive amount of vitamin A. Right in at number 8, we have the white clover. The red clover is also very common in yards as well, and both have the same uses. However, there is another plant that looks like clover, though it doesn't have this white triangular mark on the leaf like clovers do. In the number 7 slot, we have the broadleaf plantain or plantago major, a relative of the commercial source of psyllium. This common edible plant grows very prolifically in most areas of the country. The leaves must be eaten when young, however, as they get stringy due to the veins running up the leaf. Number 6 is a plant that many confuse with clover, though it isn't a clover, and thankfully this isn't a fatal mistake. Wood sorrel is in a different family altogether and is also a lot tastier than raw clover. Though number 5 is called wild lettuce, it can't actually be eaten raw as it has a very bitter milky latex that actually contains opiates that need to be cooked out. There are many varieties of wild lettuce and determining one from another is very difficult. Branching its way in at number 4 is the white pine, a common tree that's usually considered the supermarket of the forest as you can get food from the bark, the nuts, the young cones, a glue from the sap, and tea from the needles. Garlic mustard comes in at number 3 with its four petaled flowers, typical of mustards. This plant is extremely invasive and extremely delicious, also it's very healthy. Mildly tasting of garlic, this plant can be used for condiments, salad dressings, greens, flavorings, and more. Coming in at number 2 is a plant that many may not know is a relative of our domestic buckwheat. A member of the Rumex family, the leaves have these distinct curls running along the edges and are great if collected at the right time of year. Coming in at number one is Shepherd's Purse, a small delicate plant that is hard to see unless you are close to it because of its narrow and thin profile. The heart-shaped seed pods come out of a stem that grow from leaves which, to many, resemble small dandelion leaves. That's a lot of plants to cover in a short time, but hopefully this should give you guys an idea that you don't always have to leave home to find a variety of edible plants. There are many plants that can occur just in your yard, so this list is by no means exhaustive. However, it's just meant to be a guide for some things to look out for. I thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about edible and medicinal plants, make sure to subscribe.